I awoke my 16th day of the trip at my campsite in the Copper Canyon. Last evening, I worked my way down from the rim across the valley, over 6,000 vertical feet to the small town of Arike, situated at the base. The main street in the town is a large concrete landing strip, suggesting that there are other ways in than the dangerous 12-hour journey on four-wheel drive roads, with countless switchbacks and cliffs. I continue to be amazed by the incredibly isolated lives that the people lead here, working in steep fields with rows of manicured crops that cling to the hillsides. The people here travel mostly by foot on the windy and oftentimes precarious roads, many of which are cut directly into the walls of the canyon itself. The roads have continued to challenge me on the motorcycle. They're loose, gravelly, and many times washed out. Nobody ever drives here. I've received different opinions on the road to Batopilas. The last time I talked to someone in Eureka, they said it would be easier than getting to Eureka. So far, the roads have been worse. Lift her up. I gotta move it around. Front brake on. Lift her up. Come on. I decided that my only way to get through the situation was to handle it like a redneck. Oh yeah, Mexican style. Off to a good start this morning. About three minutes into the ride, drop the bike. Chopper, Kenya, Giza, off-road adventure. Good section. Ah, well, better just beast through it like a dumb redneck. Oh, yeah. See nothing. Copper Canyon style. See that. Besides the difficulties, I really am enjoying the scenery here. The narrow roads, isolation bright fields and various animals. It's really hard not to feel the romanticism of the whole situation. Plus, the higher I take these mountain roads up, the more beautiful the views become. As I got higher, I traversed numerous pastures with cattle gates and I began to wonder if this road even went to Batopilas. Maybe it just served the ranchers who grazed their cattle at the top of the canyon. On, Near the top, I had another problem to deal with. Oh my god! The road to Batopilas was out, covered by a small landslide. This road is fucking insane. Doesn't look like it gets much better up there either. Batopilas! Look at this shit. It's amazing to even have road signs here. I had a choice to make. Okay, I've just come to the intersection of this trail. We're almost near the top of the mountain, uh, coming up from Eureka. And uh, we're at about 6,000 feet. I was at about 800 feet down in Eureka, so you can see it's... Uh, just a long way down there. So this is the road to Batopilas. It's trucks haven't been here in a while. So we get some ominous signs from the beginning. Uh, I can go another way, but it's about 50 miles farther. So here's one of those moments where I got to decide if I want to follow this path or 
go the other way. Uh, as you can see, this path looks a little gnarly. The good news is I am almost up to the top. Not to say it's gonna be any better going back down, but I think I'm gonna give her a shot. The Batapilas, motos only. All right, let's do her. Give it that old brute redneck strength. Give her hell and go for it. I attempted to go up the road, but within the first 500 feet, it just seemed to get worse and worse. Okay, after that shit, I'm um, not so sure about this road. 